To nobody's surprise, home prices in Calgary have reached a new record of $570,000. What is going on here? Let's break it down and figure out why Calgary is increasing at such a rapid rate. Hi, my name is Adam Fife, your Calgary Realtor. If you're an buyer, an investor, or a seller, feel free to book a call in the link in the description. It's a Zoom link. I promise I'm able to explain things in a lot more detail and make this personalized for your personal situation because everyone is in a different scenario and the market is so crazy right now, there is no one size fits all. So let's check out what's going on. So let's see what the Calgary Real Estate Board has written about this current market situation. August sales sees record high amidst historic low inventory pushing prices even higher. August sales reached a record high of 2,729 sales in one month. Despite the record low reported over the past several months, year-to-date sales are still down by 15% compared to last year, which is quite a bit of sales. While new listings did improve compared to levels seen last year, the sales to new listing ratio remained elevated at 87%, preventing any significant shifts from the low inventory situation. Inventory levels in August dropped to 3,200 units, not only a record low for the month, but well below the 6,000 units typically available at this time. So with that being said, that is a crazy big difference. That is half of what we're usually um, able to look at. So when a buyer comes in the market, they want options, right? Right now, there are very limited options as well as the sales are at a new record high. So it is almost a perfect situation here for uh, like a perfect storm situation for pricing to continue to increase. Now, typically when we go into the winter months, we see a price adjustment. It's going to be very interesting to see if that price adjustment is going to happen this year. The unadjusted benchmark price has reached $570,000 in August, representing the eighth consecutive monthly gain. So Calgary Real Estate, in my opinion, really isn't slowing down anytime soon. Prices have trended up across all property types with row style properties or townhouses with the largest increase. So pretty crazy stuff. Let's actually see what's going on. All right, so let's touch on this one real quick. You can see that the red bar is the price point and the price has increased from last month. It's not as aggressive as we saw in Q2, but there's still increases nonetheless. You can see that the inventory actually fell from July while the sales slightly increased. So you can see that that gap's getting a little bit smaller once again between inventory and sales, which I don't like to see right now, but um, it is getting smaller and smaller. So. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens in September to see if that gap gets smaller or bigger. September, usually you see a small bump in activity because you get a lot of investors and stuff selling their product as a lot of students have left in August. So it will be interesting to see if the inventory levels increase. I would hope that they do because there should be a small influx of properties coming onto the market from those investors looking to offload because the prices have increased so much. But at the same time, the rents have increased so much that they might not want to sell. So it's very interesting to see, and I'm very curious of what's gonna happen in September. So let's continue on. So to unpack this a little bit more, I kinda of wanna paint a picture. So here are the year-to-date sales for Calgary real estate. You can see that this includes all property types. Now, the sales are down from last year, but they're in line with 2021. When you start to look at you know, 2015 to 20, the sales are really low, and then 2014, which was our last boom, you can see that we're somewhat in line with those. So you start to think, okay, sales dropped, but still elevated. Now, this is a sales for August, so this is just August, like the month. You can see that August has had a record-breaking month, even when you compare it to 2014. And then you start to look at the inventory. Now, this inventory, again, is just for August, but this has been a very common theme across every single month for the last year. You can see how low the inventory is. So you're, you're very, very limited in what is available in the market. So when you are on those automated searches and you're not seeing the properties that you want to see, and, or they're moving super quickly, you do have to prepare yourself for that. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people that I work with just wanna see the new listings, right? They get set up on automated searches and they just wanna look at the new stuff. But they're not looking at the stuff that has been sitting on the market for 30 to 60 days. That's where the deals are at. That's always where the deals are at. But people are caught up in the cycle of only looking at new product. When you're only looking at new product, you're going to struggle with the inventory problem because they're going so fast. 
let's continue on. So with the elevated sales and the low inventory, it's pretty obvious that you're gonna see price increasing all over the city. You can see Northeast saw 14%, East saw almost 20%, and even West saw over 10% year over year increasing. So no matter where you're looking, there's going to be increases. And again, the inventory issue is going to be pretty prevalent all over the city. So let's start to break it down a little bit more. So our first step of breaking it down is seeing what the Calgary Real Estate Board has written about each individual property type. If you're curious about that individual property type, this is the best start for you. Go ahead and pause the video. Now I do want to plug in, if you are a buyer, seller, investor, you want more information on your personal situation, go ahead, book a call. The Zoom link's in the description. It is very important to set up as much information and research as possible before you get into the market because it's going to be a little hectic. Okay, so let's start to break this down. So benchmark price for the total residential is 570,000. The detached is 696, semis 623, row 413, and apartment 309. Now I'm not gonna break them down too much into detail. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I will break each individual property type in a separate video, but you can see these are the overall benchmark prices. For me personally, it's crazy to see townhouses at 415. 400 two months ago broke a record, and it looks like we're really not slowing down for townhouses as we continue to increase. Okay, so our first step of figuring out what's going on is to look at the months of supply. This is the, the amount or the demand for those specific property types in those communities. So you can see the property types here, as well as the individual quadrants along the bottom. So as an example, you can see the large purple line and semi-detached city center it's close to three months that's a fairly balanced conditions that's what you kind of want to see in a market because pricing isn't going to fluctuate as much as a townhouse in calgary north you can see that it's 0.5 which is a very crazy seller's market now i'm not going to touch on this too much it's just kind of interesting this is the year over year price growth comparison so you can see that the green is going to trump everything so the most affordable quadrant which is calgary east has seen the biggest increase year over over year compared to other communities or quadrants. So you can see that uh, the Northeast is typically second in line. Again, it's the second most affordable quadrant in Calgary and they saw a very large decrease. Whereas just as an example, the semi-detached and the detached homes in the city center haven't really, like they've seen a 10% increase, but it's not that 25 or 20% increases of other areas. So if you're curious about your quadrant, you wanna kind of paint a picture of how much your home has possibly increased, you could utilize that as well as put your home address in the link description below and I'll have my AI system automate your home value for you. Let's continue on. The benchmark price. Now this is a very cool visual representation of what homes are valued in each individual quadrant. So if you're looking at semi-detached, just as an example, it's very large differences here, you look at the west and then you look at northeast, you can see that there's about a $300,000 difference in price. So if you wanna know what your home is valued at, there is a link in the description. It is an AI portal, which I personally own, I'm the only one that looks at it. And if you put in your home address there, the AI will instantly email you a home value for how much your home is worth in today's market. So if you're interested in knowing what your home value is, even if you're not looking to sell, you're just curious of how much it's increased, go ahead, go put it in the actual portal. I will then record you a video and give you an explanation of what I see. I'm here to help offer a service. I'm, I don't care if you're looking to sell, but if you're curious about what's going on in the market and you want to see where you stack in the West or the Northeast or the, or the Southeast, whatever, let me know. Let me help you. I'm here to help. So with that being said, this is the bread and butter of the whole thing. This is the microeconomic breakdown for each individual property type in each individual quadrant. I will not be breaking this down in this video, but in my future videos, which I'll be uploading this week, I will be touching on every single property type and I'll be breaking this down in a lot more detail. So if you want to know what your apartment is doing in Northwest, you can read the line here. You can see what's kind of going on. So if you have any questions at all, if you are curious of getting into the market or if you just want to know what's going to happen in the future, go ahead and reach out to me. My Zoom link is in the description. My AI portal auto value is in the description or you can just reach out to me and ask me questions if you like. I promise I'm pretty easy to talk to you. This market is pretty crazy and I think that a lot of news outlets and other people just don't explain it in a way that makes sense. So my goal here is to try to make it as simple as possible while preparing you as best as possible. So thank you very much. I really appreciate you watching this full video. Hopefully you like this new breakdown. Comment your thoughts below and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.